Welcome back, everybody. Sonny here again with another episode of Material Energy Hypercubed. And, uh, yeah, I think we can say goodbye to Fright Night. I got everything I wanted out of it. I didn't go as far as to, like, picking the blocks of gold out of the wall up here. But, uh, I got all the boxes emptied out. Uh, we've got, like, a ton of shiny now. Uh, 545 blocks from that one room. But all the, uh... The resource blocks that we had, I grabbed out of there. And didn't really come across any other secrets. Did find a couple spawners I missed, but... Oh, well. Speaking of which... Um, we've got a lot of broken spawners now. <laughs> a ton of broken spawners. And a good amount of spawn eggs, too. I went ahead and... Moved all the heads over into here. Because I was running out of room. So... Yeah. But, um, I never did the pumpkin pie quest, I found out. Like, I've been able to do that for quite a while now. And then, cash. Apparently, when I made those ones, because I skipped straight to reinforced, it uh, didn't count. So, good bag and a basic bag. Oh, lovely. More glass. All right, that's, that's the thing. And then the good bag is Soul Rift. Okay. Yeah, I've got a lot of mini me's. <laughs> got a lot of mini me's. Okay. Oh, I emptied this out right, yeah. Okay, let me go grab that bolt. Nope, can't pick it up. Because this thing auto repaired itself a new bolt before I could pick that up, so. And then community spatial areas, I went ahead and bought the Tormented, because it's by the same person, Charging Elefante. And I figured, why not? Let's torture myself a little bit, right? Unlock memories, unlock inside, amusement park, redstone meltdown, and end swirl. Oh, Gideon Seymour, sweet. Buddy the Turtle. Go Monkey Man Go, and Cube Melon. Okay. All right, uh, yeah, Gideon Seymour is the creator of the Running Red series of uh, mod packs. Let's go here, unload. Put the Tormented in, go ahead and load that in. Fright Night in. And already there's a zombie right there. And we've got a... You want to read this book. Okay. Don't dig through reinforced obsidian. It's meant to be a barrier. Uh, this area is not designed to be played with wings. You'll have plenty of walkable escape routes. Eat your apples sparingly. You need them for the final rooms and enjoy. Okay. Looking forward to that. Kind of. Not really. Okay, there's withers in here too. Okay, it says go down. This is all blocks of iron, by the way. Let's see. we go. And what do we have in here? We've got carpet, carpet, 16 basic capacitor banks, carpet, Z-Logic controllers, capacitors. Hey, cookie jar. So nothing that I want to take with me right this moment in time. Which is fine.
What are you doing there? Also, my armor is about busted, so uh, maybe I should get out of here for a minute. I completely forgot that I wanted to make new armor before I went in. Pumps is to be interesting, just from what I've seen so far. Uh, let's see. Dark helmet. Dark plate. Leggings and boots. I did not want to put you away. Give me my quest book back. Thank you. All right. Take all those off. Okay, we go over to here. U plus U is 23 levels. Okay. So. Twenty seven if I do it that way. Okay. U plus U, too expensive. Too expensive. Really? Alright, we'll have to re enchant some pants. Um you what? It said too expensive before he even <laughs> <laughs> it's not even giving me an opportunity to try to repair these. Oh, that is annoying. All right, well, let me grab horns too. That's pretty crappy. Okay, uh, that's not bad, I guess. Wow, yeah, my armor this time kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to keep wearing these boots for now, but I'll bring these with. It's because the uh, the boots have last stand on them as well. I'll have to figure out a way to... do something about my armor. I hate when they spawn like that. Oh, fun times. Okay. Looks like there's really nothing in here. There is some lapis callistus though, which I do need. Hello. All right, so this room's kind of whatever. All right, um, go away. Apparently, there's a spawner close to the wall there. All right. Lots of anvils. Hey, look, enter chest. Cool.
Well, I can two shot Enderman now, which is good. Given the way they like to teleport around. Alright. Time to farm up some enderpearls now. I hate when they do that. Well, I mean, that's, what, 29 enderpearls so far? That's the most I've ever had in this playthrough. Go away. I'm not sure where the enderman teleported to, but they're very angry right now. So tons of anvil anvils. Okay. We got blazes in here. Okay. Out of torches. Oh, look at that. One of them finally decided to come say hello. Nice, it's the last two red heart canisters I needed. Boots are still holding up, okay. Vulcanite, okay. Diamond. That or Calcum and Sanguinite. Stuff to grab later. For right now, I'm not too worried about it.
right, let's go in here. Yeah, I, I kind of figured you guys would be in here waiting for me. The spawners were literally right next to the wall, so. Oh, Purpura and Flavis. There are three different kinds of Enderman head in this pack. All right, sort that. Got the food. Move down behind. Oh, there it goes. Probably not the smart way to do this room, you know, just charging through the whole thing and then fighting my way back out, but, you know, it worked. There we go. Oh. I think that's the top floor cleared out now. Oh, hello. Bunch of speed augments. Nice. What is back here? Oh. Desicalcos, Eximite, Neotite, more strong boxes, Ender Lily Seeds, Enderman Heads, Ender Pearls. Okay. All sorts of good stuff. Go away. Alright, let's grab what I can out of here. Just looks like all of it. Sweet. Over here, I already grabbed all that stuff. I mean, there's a bunch of anvils and stuff I can grab out of here as well, which might be handy in the future. I'm not sure. Enderman Ender Minis, and they never spawned. They just insta break the obsidian. Oh no, that was a uh, armor plating blocks. Okay. Hmm. Rock wool. Oh, bunch of coils. Nice. Handy for thermal machines. I did not look at you just now. Quit throwing a hissy fit. Alright. Well, 
I gotta go drop stuff off. Um, wow, the thorns on my pants. Over half your ability gone now because of the thorns. Ha! Ah, you finally come after me, jerk. All right, once more into the breach. But yeah, top floor is done. Let's uh, take a peek down the stairs here and see what we're looking at. Well, stairs. Oh, jerk. All right, hopefully that'll stop the spawning. I don't want to go through and clear all the spawners out yet. Oh, that is a water drop. Okay. Now, the books it did say not to dig through the reinforced obsidian. It said nothing about digging through everything else, though. Nice. Eep some triple compressed. And, well, now we have full yellow and red hearts. Wow, they are, uh, they're spawning in relatively quickly now, aren't they? Slowness and then the knockback on top of it is highly annoying. Especially since I have to jump, and if you get knocked back while you're jumping, yeah, you go flying. Hello, skeleton. Here, I think I shut down a good portion of the spawners in here. As I say, is one spawns right next to me. Okay. All right, what else we got in here? You know, I don't want all the snowballs. Hello, that... Great, we have the uh, the Fallen Knights again now. These snow golems are not helping. <laughs> it's twice in a row where I go to snipe at a uh, blizz and the snow golem knocks him out of the way of the arrow while it's in flight. Let's go up and 
Does this just take me to the clouds in my... Oh no, it takes me to a box up here with stuff inside of it. Okay. I can get rid of the damn snowballs finally. And there's two different blizz heads too. Mithril Quicksilver. Okay. That's the first time I've seen Quicksilver. And Entity Prime Charge. I usually leave all that behind you. I'll come back to that box eventually. Get the hell out of here, you jerks. I can actually get over here. This one jerk on the horse is really annoying. <laughs> Just constantly in my face. You know, actually, I might be in a little bit of trouble now. Just realized that I've lost like half my armor now, so that means probably my boots are gone. Yeah, I don't have anything with last stand on it anymore. Spiders.
Raw horse beef. Okay. Yes, horse beef, I guess, is a thing, right? Super pick to the rescue. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um Okay, I mean that's still at half. That's almost dead now too. Alright, let's try this again now. I think the snow golem shooting zombies is not helping matters any because zombies have that chance of, you know, spawning in another zombie when they get hit. And I know that it fire damage will trigger that. And I'm pretty sure that a snowball will as well. Not spawn in with a horse, jerk. Okay. I did a number on it that last pass through, so. Most of the spawners are just gone, so. Could have ran into there whenever I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Excuse the hell out of you. How the hell did you spawn in? Alright. What do we got in here? We've got... Adamantine, Sanguinite, Cobalt, Ardite, Uranium... Astral Silver and Shiny Ore. Okay. Now, where exactly did I die? Because there's probably going to be a bunch of stuff laying around there. Oh, hey, Diamond Spikes. Cool. Rich Slag, Pyruthium, and Golden Apples. We have a ladder up, which goes where? here. Light blue typewriter. Okay. Auto enchantment table. Nice, because I haven't gotten around to making one of those. Apis Calistus. Casicus. Okay, well. I don't see how I'm supposed to get in here without dropping in like I did. Oh, there's a staircase over there that I completely missed. Yeah, that would probably be it. Nope, that just leads to arrows and cloud in a bottle. Okay. Ah, stuck glitching into the chest. There we go. And so in here there was this box of stuff, including buckets of milk. A bunch of potions. 
You know, I'll grab the apples. I really haven't been using them, but, you know, I'll grab them anyway. I hear cats. All right, well, there's that one done. Why do they drop so many damn potions when I kill them? All right, up we go. The same over here. That was a gas spawner. Hello. You know, we're going to fall back here for a moment because I need to eat. Why is there... A goofy face on the side over there. Making progress, anyway. Break spawners, fall back. Okay. I didn't get the return to sender achievement. Hmm. Probably because I haven't been to the nether yet. Oh my god, it's potions. Hey, gas tears, though. No, let's not put those away by accident. I'm too hungry to run. room's done. What do we have? <clears throat> Excuse me. Adamantine, Shadow Iron, Angmalin. You know, Angmalin's pretty good, actually, because I can actually use that. 
You should be not here. Oh, okay. I missed a spawner, it looks like. Oh, hi. Well, that suddenly got real crowded real quickly. Of course, we have Withers, you know, shooting and stuff right now, too, so. Okay, I got A-block destroyed. Oh, man. Okay. I did get life steel put on my crossbow, so. supposed to be over here. Jerk. sniping me there. Sometimes ahead still, right? Look, go away. Hi, there's a lot of spawners over this way. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. 
I am running on last stand right now again. And then I have to go up still. The exploding skeletons are probably the worst part of this map. <laughs> Actually, just skeletons in general are probably the worst part of this because of the knockback. All right. Are there any more zombies you're just going to randomly walk by when I'm trying to do stuff? Okay. It's <laughs> just the explosions I keep hearing. Seems to be a lot less in there now. Good. I think I might have got all the blade spawners, so once I can get them, you know, the ones in here taken care of. Now if there's more spawners back here. Oh, I accidentally destroyed one of the reinforced obsidians. Whoops. Okay. I don't really care about that. Oh, what's in here? Oh, a bunch of diamond stuff and a whole bunch of free space. Wow, that was rude as hell. Oh, baby zombie. Did I? Well, I didn't light this place up. That witch may have just been a regular natural spawn. Just kind of strange. Okay. for a second, I got my hopes up. Okay. Take care of you guys. Oh, there's a couple spawners back here. Get the hell out of here. That's a baby. There we go. I don't know why I wanted to kill the chicken, I just did. So. Oh, it's feeling a lot safer in here now. A lot safer. All right, what do we got? What was in there anyway? Oh, intercores, nice, and endstone. And beacons, and nice. Go away. How damn rude are you? All right. Go up. 
Oh yeah, there's the withers. Oh my god, they've just been sitting here spawning this whole time too. Uh, 147 bolts. Okay. Okay, that was a wither storm right there, all of a sudden. There's one. Come on, guys, get over here. There you are. Thankfully, withers are immune to knockback, which otherwise this would be even worse, because I'd be punching them halfway across the arena. Bane of arthropods. Hooray. Alright, I think I got the last one finally. Uh, 30 of them. That took a bit. Oh, there we go. Fully upgraded dark armor. Since I can't seem to do it on my own, then, uh, that is, uh, quite nice. 30 withers. And that's not including any where it might have uh, gotten destroyed. Or I could pick it up to the, uh, the nether stars. All right. Well, I can get those out of there as well. Let's see, those can stay here. But yeah, I definitely want to grab these. 64 each of the spawn eggs. These will spawn the wild versions, though, which is annoying. Six double compressed cookie. Look how much hunger that gives. And then we have wireless from AE. And 64 boosters. And a staff traveling. This thing... Uh, it doesn't show because it's the fully charged version, but here we go. Uh, it requires an enticing crystal. And desicalcos. It requires a soul vial of a villager to make the enticing crystal. Crystal. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to get that. All right. I put that away. I can probably leave the carrot here. I don't really need carrots. I don't need anything else out of there either. Apparently I didn't get everything. I'm still having Fallen Knight spawn in. And 
I can hear slimes, and I have not seen a slime around here yet, so. Probably a spawner around here somewhere I haven't gotten to. Now I have to get out of here. I, uh, I took a shortcut on the way in, so I'm not exactly sure how to get out. <laughs> it doesn't look like bars go all the way across, but apparently they do. Like, was I supposed to come in that way? What? Well, let's go up here. And that's where I dropped in at. Okay, yeah, it didn't work like I wanted it to. That's fine. You, on the other hand, are not fine. But existing. Thank you. You too. Right, so... The chest is like in that corner there, isn't it? Well, here's a good enough. All right, let's try it again now. There we go. We're out. And I still haven't gone that way. <laughs> so all right let's go over here then um get some of the stuff out of my inventory uh, 64 blocks of enderium is not bad or 32 blocks of enderium not bad at all okay wireless receiver Second, actually, this goes in. Oh, how does this thing work again? Yeah, that's what I need. The wireless access points. It means I need a calculation processor. And what else do I need there? Regular Fluix cable, huh? Yeah, well, that's fine. But it's needed calculation. Okay. So, I think I have some pure service left. Yeah, I do. Sweet. All right. And boom. There's our wireless access point. Put that up top there. Device missing channel. Dice on it. There it goes. Wink. Range, 528 meters. Energy usage, 8,000 RF tick. Yeah, I don't think I need that many. Let me, like 80 is pretty good. Get to around 100. Yeah, that'll work. 19 of them. Okay. Oh, my chest plate broke. Huh, weird.
All right, so you had, yeah, you were pretty good. Let me do you plus you. Too expensive. Yeah. Kind of afraid of that. That had unbreaking protection, respiration, aqua penalty. I don't need the last two. I think that's what kind of pushed it past the limit. Projectile protection for respiration three. That'll work. Oh, yeah, and I got the fancy solar panel on my head. I don't think it's going to really do much around here, but yeah. Um, right. I should have. Oh well. I'm not min-maxing my experience as well as I should be. Last stand, unbreaking protection three. I'll take that. Now, that was just speed. That's actually not too bad. I'll twenty-seven, and I can do that. It was you plus you and. Oh, yeah, no, I have to do it the other way, don't I? 36. Okay. Yeah, this has to go first, because otherwise it'll wipe the upgrades off. There we go. And then the pants are... too expensive. Okay. Soulbound Protection 4. Okay. And we move a lot quicker now because the leggings have speed three on them. And there is a, I set a hot key to be able to turn that on or off if I want. And then jump three. We get, you know, extra jumps. Which could be handy for getting around. We finally got what I wanted to, you know, take care of a few episodes ago. Projectile protection, projectile, regular, and regular. So that, that's a pretty good mix. I usually get shot full of arrows, so. Dang it. Give me my quest book back. Baked win five. <laughs> so, okay, this one is not renewable. But I can turn in nether stars to get five quintuple. But blaze killer... Blizz Killer, Zombie Killer, Wither Kitty, and Fallen Knight. Yeah, let's put that and that away. I still have to empty my pouch out, or my golden bag of holding. I don't want to feel like doing that right this second. We have 32 triple compressed. I mean, it's not bad. And that was enough for one more sex tuple compressed, which I think I had one in here as well. So we have two of those. Now I'm not sure. If all the areas cost the same, but these two each cost a sextuple. So, amusement park is only a quint or it's five quintuple. Okay. Four quadruple for memories. Redstone meltdown requires 100 buckets of gelled creothium. I think I can do that. Andes world just requires three triple compressed. Andes side requires three triple compressed. That's not bad. These two are the most expensive ones, so. Or somewhat good for there. Uh, there are probably a few more secrets I haven't found yet. I know that there's still two things on the victory monument and the little item frames I haven't found yet. I'm not exactly sure where those would be. Uh, so we're missing squid. Yeah, okay. Villager and kitten trophies. All right. I mean that's not horrible. Oh, I need to check on something. <laughs> we have regular chickens now. The love blocks, um, yeah, they they really did the uh, trick here. 
the animals actually have to stand on love blocks. And yeah, it's it's kind of a I think. You know, we're just Trying to get rid of all the wild ones. Oh, there's like this big cluster of them in the corner over here though. Well, nope. Honestly, I only need two chickens. So, you know what? Yeah, there's like this massive cluster in this corner here, though. There we go. And, yeah, we got a good amount of eggs out of it, too, without having to resort to the damn trophy. Whoops. No. Chickens, don't do it. Don't jump. There you go. You do the same. Come on. There you go. Now the more of them that are in there and as they wander around the they'll start producing more and more. Oh god, what happened? Something happened. I, yeah, I put all my more residents in there. So this side should be working okay-ish, right? I mean, it's not currently doing anything, but this has power. That has power, so that's fine. These are currently running, because there's still a backlog of logs. But, uh... Your axe broke, didn't no? No, it's just out of power. Why are you out of power? Why do you not have any power? That's... You should have power. I mean, this has power. This should have power, too. But it doesn't. Well, at this point, it should be feeding through and into the here, but it's not. I upgraded all these condos because I found some extra ones. So, but I didn't want to have to dig up everything to replace this conduit here running to the farming station. So I put a, you know, capacitor bank in. Is there a priority system by any chance? No. But it's like that capacitor bank is just not accepting power for a reason. Maybe because these are still needing it, but that doesn't make any damn sense. You know what? We are going to set you like that. I don't have my conduits on me. I should be able to do... But this is not linked. Oh, we need like the security terminal or whatever, don't we, to link this damn thing. Yeah, AE just, yeah, never did it right with this as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I have this thing. But you know, a lot of the other storage mods and whatnot, you just right-click on the controller or shift right-click on the controller and it's done. And it's like, okay, 
I know where, you know, everything is, but AE decided, oh, we have to do channels, so let's do this massive thing of doom here. There we go. And it's not a crafting window, it's just storage, but, you know, that's honestly fine. The main thing I'll be using it for is just to getting, you know, get things out of my damn inventory. Uh, what was I going for? Oh yeah, conduit. There. Hey, look at you go. Don't know why you flew into my inventory, but okay. Do I have any axes right now? Nope. Okay. Let me upgrade you to a crafting one. Universal. Okay, yeah, I can do that. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, this is Sign signing out. Have fun.